out here ourselves, especially for the high elevations above 7,000 feet. And some rain. And some rain, too. Hashtag winter monsoon. Oh, no. He's trying to get that going. Don't <laughs> fall for it. This is not the monsoon. Uh, it's not a winter Wait a monsoon. It's trending. Oh, geez. I hope not. All right. Here's a look at your satellite and radar. Uh, we are going to see clouds filter in throughout the day today, so we'll definitely become more cloudy, especially the second half of the day. A few showers already developing over Baja, California, and uh, we could see some isolated activity, especially later on tonight, but most of the day will be dry. The bulk of the activity will happen tomorrow. Temperatures are pretty chilly, upper 30s for the east side. Same thing for Sabino Canyon, temps mainly in the low uh, to mid 40s for the rest of Metro Tucson. Even colder to the south and east, we're below freezing in Douglas, Wilcox, Duncan, Sonoida, just barely above freezing in Sasabe and Safford at 34. 43 out in Cells, 37 in Nogales, 40 in Sierra Vista. So bundle up this morning as you head out the door. Temperatures today warming up into the low 70s. Overnight lows will not be as cold thanks to the cloud cover that we're going to have overnight tonight into tomorrow. So low 50s for the overnight lows in the warmest places. Of course, a little bit colder to the south and east overnight tonight and for this afternoon too. Only getting into the upper 60s for a good portion of Cochise County, but that'll be a couple of degrees warmer than what we got to yesterday. So here's a look at the three things you need to know. It will be a cloudy day today, especially this afternoon, with some isolated showers possible, especially later on tonight. That will turn more scattered tomorrow, especially late Wednesday overnight into Thursday. We could also see some snow above 7,000 feet. So here's a look at your future cast. This is 3 p.m. Notice how those clouds continue to increase. We will be mainly cloudy by 3 p.m., staying dry through a good portion of the afternoon and by late tonight a couple of uh, scattered showers will begin to move into our area. Uh, same thing for early tomorrow morning by 5 a.m. Looks like Cochise County areas to the south and east of Tucson will get the bulk of the rainfall. Some isolated showers passing through before the first half of the day of uh, Wednesday is done. Uh, most of the rainfall Wednesday night will be to the north of us, but it does look like we'll see some scattered activity into early Thursday morning. Some pockets of moderate rainfall will be possible and high elevation snow will also begin to fall as well. So here's a look at your potential rainfall totals. Could see less than a quarter of an inch in Tucson. Same thing for uh, Oracle, just a little over a quarter of an inch, I should say, up there. But notice how the darker greens kind of gradually head up to the north. So that's where the heaviest rainfall will be for this event, uh, just over a tenth of an inch along the international border, but still adding to our totals before the end of the year. Always good. Looking at the forecast snowfall accumulation, elevations above 7,000 feet. Could see up to six inches, but elevations below 7,000 feet. Not expecting to see the snow just because the snow level won't drop enough to see uh, that unfortunately, but still a few inches of snow above 7,000 feet is expected. Uh, 71 for your Wednesday, then dropping to 66 on Thursday. We're going to catch a break from the rain on Friday, and then another system could impact us this upcoming weekend. As of now, just a 20% chance for rain late Saturday into early Sunday morning. Uh, we'll keep you updated as we get a little bit closer, though, as those details could change.